Thank you for joining me. There have been some bad news uh, coming from the uh, uh, endurance sport uh, community in the last couple of weeks. There was a cardiac arrest at the London Marathon uh, two weeks ago, and there was also a cardiac arrest uh, uh, during a triathlon in Canada, and the victim was a middle-aged woman, um, and that occurred just last week. So I thought it would take a few minutes to review with you what we know about cardiac arrests uh, during these events, and, and then I will also go over some new recommendations that were proposed at the recent meeting of the American College of Cardiology. So first, ma first marathons. Uh, there was a paper published, um, I think in 2012, that looked at uh, cardiac arrests during marathons over a 10-year period. So let me highlight five points that um, came out of that paper. First of all, uh, the paper confirmed that uh, cardiac arrest is a lot more common in men than it is in women, by a factor of about nine to one. But that doesn't mean that it can't happen in women. Uh, it's just that it's a lot more common in men. Secondly, the average age uh, of uh, cardiac arrest victims in marathon was about 43. But the age range was wide. It went anywhere from 22 to 65 in that study. Um, thirdly, um, the, the um, investigators found that the cardiac arrests are much more frequent towards the end of the marathon and the last third compared to the beginning or, or the middle. And that's likely due to um, uh, either fatigue uh, or, or strain or, or perhaps even electrolyte imbalances uh, being contributing factors to um, precipitating a cardiac arrest. And th that's why they occur you know, more frequently at the end of the, of the race. Um, and then fourthly, uh, what, what was my fourth point? Oh yes, fourthly, the incidence has been increasing uh, over, the, over the 10 years so that the, the the number of, of cardiac arrest was less uh, at the beginning of the period than it, was that, that it has been more recently, even if you adjust for the number of participants, so that um, th what we call the incidence, you know, the, the, the number of events divided by the total number of participants seems to be increasing. And that's probably because um, um, more, people are, uh, more people of a, more older people are participating, and therefore there are people who may have uh, acquired heart disease that is um, more common uh, as we get older, uh, such as coronary disease, uh, as being you know one of the uh, one of the causes of cardiac arrest in marathon. And then finally, uh, the investigators uh, confirmed that uh, uh, in the majority of, of cardiac arrests, there is a pre-existing cardiac condition that could potentially have been identified by screening uh, before the event. So that's for marathons. Now, uh, as far as triathlons are, are concerned, at the recent um, uh, meeting of scientific meeting of the American College of Cardiology um, there was a report by Dr. Larry Cres Creswell. Dr. Creswell is a heart surgeon in uh, Tennessee who's also a triathlete and for for many many years now he's been involved in um, identifying uh, the uh, cardiac problems that occur during these events and he's written extensively about them and uh, he and another investigator did an analysis of uh, the cardiac arrest and, and death occurring during triathlons, uh, similar to the one that I mentioned about marathons. And their findings were similar uh, in that uh, in triathlons, uh, also the, it's much more common to have a cardiac arrest if you're a man than if you're a woman. Um, the age range was also, or, or the, the mean age, the average age was also in the mid 40s. And, and finally, what they discovered was that cardiac arrest is a lot more common during the swim portion of, um, of the triathlon than it is during the, the running or the biking. And then on, uh, they also discovered that uh, the majority of the cases of cardiac arrest have also a pre-existing cardiac condition that could potentially have been identified by screening. And so they uh, came up with a proposal that middle-aged men be screened um, prior to engaging in, in triathlons. So this, of course, is uh, no surprise and, and nothing new to us. The only thing that um, we want to add is that, you know, there is screening and there is screening. You know, how you do your screening matters. Because if you're going to screen with just an EKG or just a, a routine physical and whatnot, that may not be enough and that may, that may not identify um, uh, the conditions that you're, you're interested in. So, so if somebody is going to engage in screening, it is really important to do it uh, quite thoroughly. Um, and that's, I think that's about it for today. I hope you found this informative. As always, on the show notes, I will uh, provide the transcripts of, of this talk, and I will have additional links that uh, I think you will find useful. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.